Welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how to code with Claude without any problems. Now, you may or may not know that one of the biggest issues that we have when trying to code within LLMs is that they are not up to date. So what does that mean? Let's say that we're trying to make a tool with Claude using Claude to code the tool with Claude. Just bear with me. One of the issues is the Claude is only trained up to a certain point and it doesn't necessarily know how to code itself. However, I noticed something the other day. If you go on Google and just type in Claude Docs, okay, and click on Intro to Claude, the one at the very top, it's on docs.anthropic.com. Then if at the very top you click Search, you'll see that this little button here pops up called Ask AI. Now what this is, is it's Claude that's been trained on its own documentation. And what does that mean exactly? You can say things like, write me a Python script that creates content using Claude Sonnet 3.5. So right now, if you go on, let's say ChatGPT, and you say something like, write me a Python script that uses Claude to create content from a CSV of keywords, for example, You mentioned Claude, but OpenAI is, so it's just used OpenAI. That's how bad it is, right? It's using text DaVinci 004. This isn't even a real, um, no, none of this is correct effectively, okay? This will not work. If you run this Python script, it will not work. DaVinci doesn't even exist anymore. And even if it did, it shouldn't say engine here. It should say model. So, you know, you know the, one of the biggest issues is that LLMs don't know how to code LLMs, okay? But with this here, you'll see that this will be correct, okay? So let's actually test this. Let's say um, it should take from a keyword.csv file to know what to write about. But even while that's doing that, let's just open Visual Studio Code here. Okay, so we're on Visual Studio Code. Let's open a new file, right click here, new folder. We'll call this Claude test. And then we'll open this. I pressed open file. I always do that. Where is Claude test? Claude test, select folder. So we'll right click here, new file, we'll do hi.py. We'll paste this. Um, and then do terminal, new terminal. Python hi.py. This might not work because I haven't set my um, I haven't set my code. Oh, it works. So you can see here within two minutes, I've used the Claude documentation, which talks to itself. It's Claude talking to Claude in order to create something that just works. If you just do this from like I showed before, ChatGPT, for example, it will not work. It will completely fail. Okay. The reason this has worked, by the way, if you're curious, is because I have set my um, Claude, my Anthropic key on my machine. Okay, it's a, it's an environment uh, environmental variable. Okay, so if I click on environmental variables, you'll see Anthropic API key has been set. That's why it worked without me setting the API key, just so that you're aware. So this is a really good way of being able to code without really knowing how to code because previously one of the big issues that we had was that it wasn't it, it the, the llm was trying to code on fake knowledge it was hallucinating just like uh, chat gpt did so if i right click here and do keywords um dot csv and then i say um are kiton suit good for example and then let's write hi.py again. Let's try this again. Remember, I haven't done anything, okay? All I did was just ask Claude documentation to write me a script that will do this. And then look, are kits on suits good? Kits on suits are widely regarded as some of the finest and most luxurious suits available in the men's fashion world, blah, 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 blah. Is there a max tokens? There is. So let's say that we want to write a blog post instead of just a paragraph. First thing you should do is set this max tokens to 4096, and then we'll say write an article uh, about keyword, and then we'll say output in markdown, for example, 
and then we'll run this again. And then you can slowly start to build on this. So I can say something like, I need, I need internal links and images. Please make two more, please add two more CSV files that uh, the script can read internal links dot uh, text and images dot text. These will contain um, URLs to be used in the final content, for example, okay? And then we can see already just from literally, I don't know how long we've been recording, I don't think it's been very long, but literally within five minutes, we already have something that is capable of doing this, okay? It's not perfect, obviously, but you can see how you can very easily start to build on this, okay? Remember, I haven't done anything. All I'm doing is using Claude. I don't even think I'm paying for this. Actually, I'm pretty sure I'm not paying for this. Let me just check if I'm logged in. Uh, okay, I think I am logged in, but I'm not sure if I'm paying for this or not. I'm not sure if you have to pay for this or not. I'm, it, it's kind of confusing, but whatever. Okay, this has now added a vision, I think. <laughs> Somehow. Include the following internal links. So internal link. So if I just do, if I look for, yeah, internal links.txt. So if I do new internal links.txt, and then I just add, let's say, for example, HTTPS two men dot it slash collection slash kit on and save that. And then where's the other one? Images.txt. So we'll just do images.txt. And then we'll just grab a random image. It's not gonna be a suit because we don't have any kit on suits right now. So it's just gonna be whatever the hell this is. Right click. Uh, wait, can't right click. Copy this, put this here, run this again. Okay, so I don't, what this has done here is it's used, I don't, I don't want it to use vision. So I'm gonna say, uh, please don't use vision, just keep everything to one prompt. Okay, so we'll just do that. Because it, I don't know exactly what it's doing here. It's trying to do something that I'm not really, comfortable with. It's not really something that I've done before. I haven't done vision before. So instead, I just want to keep everything in one prompt. Okay, this should work. We'll press copy here. Oops. Uh, Hi.py, control A, control V. Oops. Okay, we'll save that. Internal link. Okay, it's not going to include, it's just removed the images. It's fine. I just want to show you um, this basic example. So what this is going to do now is it's going to include the internal link. And then all you would do is uh, make the prompt better, make the input better. And this is how you can make your own content generator with zero programming experience using the Claude documentation. Okay, so you can see right here, there is a link to the um, to the internal link, which I asked it to include. I'm just gonna do a couple of control Z's and then go back here like that, and then say include internal link. Yep, and then run this again. This is now gonna write an entire article and it's gonna include the internal link and it's gonna output in Markdown. And you can see as well, it's extremely quick. Like it'll be done in five, four, three, two, one. Perfect, good timing. And then we'll scroll up. And within, within eight minutes, I don't know how long we've been going, but it's about eight minutes, I would say. We have this entire article, which um, could be posted to Google. Now, I'm not saying this is going to rank. Obviously, this needs a lot more work, but you can just, all you need to do now is improve the prompt. You don't need to improve anything else. All you need to do is start improving the prompt. For example, please include a key takeaway table at the top. Uh, please use bullet points and other interesting formatting. Please write with a sarcastic tone, etc., etc. All you do is you keep changing the prompt, you keep running it until you have exactly what you want. Now, I'm not even gonna leave this code in the description of this video. It's so easy to make yourselves. It's pointless, including 
this link, to be honest with you. But you can see here, we now have something that you could see that it will probably start to rank on Google. Like it, it's almost there. We have a key takeaway table. We have um, a bullet point. We have a quote. We have uh, a, an ordered list. We have an internal link, which actually hasn't been done properly, but that's okay. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. That's all I wanted to show you in this video. This is how I've been doing a lot of coding right now. I just discovered this the other day that you can actually talk to the documentation. But let me just show you one more thing. If I go here and say, make me a Python script that uses Claude uh, to um, write content, 99% of the time, this is not going to work just because it hasn't been, uh, it, it doesn't know itself. It's kind of hard to explain, but let's see if this actually works. Yeah, so this looks like it might also work, actually, interestingly enough, but let's just copy this. What? I <laughs> mean... Wow, Tom. Yeah, it doesn't work. You see, it doesn't work. Okay, so you can see how you can much more easily make something for yourselves that does exactly what you want using this little hint, this little tip. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you're watching all the way to the end, make sure to check out harborseo.ai. There's currently a dollar launch code. It uses Claude Sonnet 3.5 to do kind of what I showed you in this video, but about a thousand times more complicated. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you very, very soon with some more content, and peace out.